That's right. Mickey Brown Jr. was looking after little Azalea at the time of the incident. And these documents detail all the different stories that Brown told deputies about how the girl was hurt. He changed his story not once, but several times. The documents show the Spokane Valley firefighters arrived at the home to find an unconscious toddler. They requested help from the deputies after seeing her injuries. The search warrant adds that at the hospital, doctors told deputies that the 19-month-old was suffering a brain bleed. Doctors found abrasions on the girl's chest and knees and bruises on her cheek and inside one of her ears. Investigators say the man who was supposed to be watching Azealia Rain Red Horse Jones is 19-year-old Mickey Brown Jr. He's the new boyfriend of the mom who was watching the toddler while she was at work. When investigators arrived to the scene, Brown had a few stories. Initially, he told detectives he was giving Azealia a bath when she started to have a seizure. He claimed he picked up the toddler and ran to his brother's home. Brown said he then left her with his brother to go find a phone to call 911 because he didn't think his would work. His brother Michael says he used the suspect's phone to call 911 and then started to perform CPR. At one point, documents show detectives overheard a phone conversation between Brown and the child's mother. During that call, the mother said her daughter had been suffering seizures for the past month and that the toddler was scheduled for an EKG the next week. But a doctor told investigators the child's injuries were not consistent with a seizure. This is when we learn another story. Mickey told firefighters that their dog had knocked Azealia over and she hit her head the day before. When interviewing Michael and another brother, they stated that the toddler had a seizure when Mickey was putting on her diaper. The search warrant shows Brown's next story was that while carrying the toddler to his brother, he dropped her outside. But deputies say a doctor classified the injuries as non-accidental inflicted trauma indicative of child abuse. After four days, Azealia died in the hospital. As it turns out, Brown is no stranger to law enforcement in both Washington and Idaho. At the time of his booking, he had three active warrants in Kootenai County and another in Spokane, mainly for theft. This mugshot was sent to Krem 2 from the Kootenai County Jail from a previous arrest. At his first hearing for the assault, his judge references that Brown has neglected to show up to any of his hearings. So that, in addition to the severe accusation against him, made the bail that high. Brown remains in jail on an assault charge, but prosecutors have said that charge will likely be upgraded. On Saturday at 7 in the evening, Azalea's family will be holding a candlelight vigil at Maribo Point Park. All the information about the event is already on our website. In the newsroom, Morgan Trow, Crem 2 News.